हाय एवरीवन कैसे हो आप लोग सो so, मैं गौरव भाटिया अन अकेडमी के तरफ से आप सभी का स्वागत करता हूं हमारे इस चैनल कैट फॉर एम के अंदर आज का जो हम लोगों का टॉपिक होगा बेसिकली वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद ग्रामर टुडे और ग्रामर की जो सीरीज है ये थोड़े से लंबे टाइम तक चलने वाली है आप लोगों के लिए आप लोग कोई सा भी एग्जाम देते हो बी दैट कैट चाहे मैट चाहे एन मैट सी मैट जैट स्नैप वॉट एवर एग्जाम यू पीपल आर गोइंग टू राइट सारे के सारे एग्जाम्स के अंदर ग्रामर जो है दैट ऑल्सो प्लेज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल ठीक है सिंस द ग्रामर प्लेज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल आई हैव ब्रॉट यू दिस सीरीज सो द थिंग इज दिस वॉट आर वी गोइंग टू डिस्कस टूडे हम लोग आज डिस्कस करने वाले हैं पार्ट्स ऑफ द स्पीच बिकॉज विदाउट पार्ट्स ऑफ द स्पीच योर ग्रामर इज द फाउंडेशन ऑफ ग्रामर इज इनकम्प्लीट बहुत सारे क्वेश्चंस आते हैं आप लोग के अगर हम लोग कैट की बात करते हैं कैट के 2013 से पहले की बात करते हैं तो 2013 से पहले बिल्कुल स्पेसिफिक क्वेश्चंस आते थे पार्ट्स ऑफ स्पीच से रिलेटेड आप लोगों को एक वर्ड दिया हुआ होता था और फिर वो जो वर्ड है उस वर्ड के अकॉर्डिंग आप लोगों से पूछा जाता था कि जो पर्टिकुलर वर्ड है इस वर्ड का यूज इस सेंटेंस के अंदर कौन से पार्ट ऑफ स्पीच की तरह हो रहा है वेदर इट इज एक्टिंग एज एन एडवर्ब और नाउन और प्रापोजिशन तो इस तरीके के क्वेश्चन जो है वो आते थे हम लोग आज एक इंट्रोडक्शन ले रहे हैं दिस वुड बी आवर फर्स्ट लेक्चर फॉर ग्रामर हम लोग जो क्वेश्चंस आए हुए हैं ग्रामर के वो सब भी डिस्कस करेंगे और ये सिर्फ और सिर्फ कैट के लिए नहीं है इट इज मेड फॉर ऑल द अदर एग्जाम्स ऑल्सो ऑल अदर मैनेजमेंट रिलेटेड एग्जाम्स जैसा कि मैंने आप लोगों को बताया बीट मैट सी मैट आप लोग सी मैट भी दोगे आप लोग स्नैप भी दोगे यू आर गोइंग टू राइट जैट ऑल्सो सो ओवर दियर दी दिस पर्टिकुलर सेशन वुड बी वेरी मच फ्रूटफुल फॉर यू ठीक है पूरा का पूरा एक थरो Uh, we will have be covering all that grammar topics thoroughly clear now my name is gaurav bhatia as you people know and i have what i have more than 10 years uh, more than 12 years of experience and besides uh, besides that i have also cleared numerous papers many papers for example bank bio is there insurance eu is there and nvs exam is there lots and lots of papers i have cleared and that is why i'm here and in 2019 i cracked cat with 98 percentile and that is the main reason that i'm here i'm just here i'm entering you people you people can join me on this telegram link which is gaurav bhatia an academy if you are going to join this link i will be posting soon soon very soon i'm going to start posting my all the pdf i'm going to start all the posting all the free pdfs over there on the gaurav bhatia an academy channel so you'll have to just join it you just have to go to telegram or telegram pe jaake ke aap logo ko search kya karna hai gaurav g a u r a v gaurav भाटिया बी एच ए टी आई ए गौरव भाटिया अन अकेडमी एंड यू आर गोइंग टू फाइंड मी ओवर दे अब मैं थोड़ा सा साइड में हो जाता हूँ ताकि आप लोग इसको देख सको देखिए देख लिया आप लोगों ने ओके नाउ नाउ इट इज समथिंग वेरी बस इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम इलेवंथ सेप्टेम्बर ऑनवर्ड्स वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद थ्री मोर बैचेज वन पर्टिकुलर बैच इज मैट मैट फॉर एन मैट ओनली इन विच ऑल द पीपल हु वॉन्ट टू हु आर कंसनट्रेटिंग अपॉन ओनली एंड ओनली नारसी मोन जी those students would be joining theek hai so that is what that is batch for anmat 2021 aspirants another batches are that uh, unlock 3.0 cat and other management entrance tests and revision guide 3.0 for cat 2021 so as i told you many a time that without revision you are not going to score good revision is a must and it is high time you started revision so this batch is very much important for all of you because we will be covering what we will be covering all all everything we will be covering every important aspect of your cat examination in this particular revision batch as you people all know as all of you know that we have two types of subscriptions those were that plus as well as iconic so in the plus subscription what do we have we have 6 months 12 months 18 months and 24 months for the subscription and if you are preparing for cat 2022 or if you are preparing for cat 2023 afterwards okay you are just a fresher so uh, these particular these subscriptions are meant for you only ye dono ke dono sir subscriptions hai be it 12 wala 12 months wala and 24 months wala and these are something very much beneficial for you because over here you are going to get what you are going to get 3 months for free you are getting what you are going to, you are getting 3 months for free which is something very good okay and it is cheap this is nothing but an investment which you people are making in you okay invest in yourself stop wasting your time just if you people purchase that ott ka subscription right one of your friends he goes for what he goes for that netflix ka sus- subscription someone goes for uh, that prime ka subscription so if you people can invest in that if you people can invest in those uh, otts 
then why not to invest in on your own career this is something that you are going to land this is going to make you land at somewhere good these subscriptions are very much helpful for you okay so please subscribe yourself and while subscribing do not uh, forget to mention my code which is cat garv c a t cat g a r v cat garv if you are going to use my code you are going to get what you are going to get 10% off straight 10% off directly 10% off which is something very good okay you are going to get what you are going to get 10% off man 10% off means uh, 2250 rupees you are going to get off in that 12 months wala subscription from 24 months wala subscription you are going to get 3280 rupees free that is something good man literally and when we talk about what when we talk about iconic subscription so just i'm just keeping myself aside for a while so look over here in the iconic subscription what do you get you get an offline experience online at the comfort of your home you are going to get what you are going to get an experience which is equivalent to that offline classes why why do we go to offline classes to meet our friends look if you people are going over there to meet your friends then there is no use of going to the classes okay if your sole purpose is to meet your friends then you can also go to thari you can also go to some cafes and all so uh, beside that if you people have something else besides that if you have something else if you are uh, totally into your goal then go for this iconic subscription because we uh, join offline classes so as to make our doubts clear online ke andar what is the problem we cannot ask our doubts if you people are attending some yt session that means you people won't be able to ask any doubt over there okay you people won't be able to uh, just ask anything you won't be able to uh, talk to the mentors it happens the talk will be limited and that too in the chat boxes but if you go for these subscriptions in that case you are going to get what you are going to get a one on one mentorship you are going to get a one on one live out sessions man means you people can ask all those good mentors that sir i am having problem in this particular question please ask, uh, tell me and that person is going to your mentor is going to help you out with that and that too at the comfort of your home at the comfort of your time you are going to book the slot as per your schedule we are going to be there to help you out so this is something very good and this is a special price alert which was made for yesterday only uh, valid only for yesterday 9 september and this is something cat notes on the go look it is something very much interactive cat notes on the go it is that uh, it is the usp of our subscriptions cats notes on the go will means what you have to go as the name mentions cat notes on the go it suggests you that on your phone you are going to get what you are going to get all the interactive books you are going to get all the interactive pdfs by an academy which are related with cat okay so uh, those uh, books will be very much colorful not at black and white one okay those will be very much colorful those books will be very much interesting something which is going to make you help increase your raw score something which is going to help you in increasing your overall percentile so cat notes on the go is something very much interesting please go for that just straight away go to the app and subscribe yourself go for a plus subscription literally that would be the best thing that you are going to go do today that would be the best investment that you are going to make for you for the next two years and this is what this is our that parts of the speech i'm going to start with what i'm going to start with parts of the speech and parts of the speech by gaurav bhati as you know so what does part of the speech mean what do you mean by part of the speech to so look over here uh, the thing is this what do we use we use different uh, we have what we have different structures in english grammar okay what do we have we have different structures so each part of a speech explains not what the word is but how the word is used for an example if you are making any structure any structure in this world mm, i have chosen i have done what i have chosen red ink full stop suppose this is the statement so over here what does part of a speech mean part of a speech mean it a uh, matlab part of a speech is going to tell you what it is going to tell you that how how the particular word is used how the word is used so here yeah, for example i am using what i am using i over here so what is i what is how is it i how are we using this particular i clear yeah. what is the name of this i what is the technical name of this i ya fir why what is this have what is this chosen what is this red 
हाउ आर वी यूजिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर वर्ड रेड तो पार्ट ऑफ स्पीच टेल यू वर्ड पार्ट ऑफ स्पीच टेल यू हाउ अ वर्ड इज यूज इन अ पर्टिकुलर सेंटेंस ठीक है पार्ट ऑफ स्पीच किस तरीके से आप लोगों को क्या बताते हैं आप लोगों को आप लोगों को पार्ट ऑफ स्पीच बताते हैं कि कोई भी जो पर्टिकुलर वर्ड है उस वर्ड का यूज कैसे हुआ है हाउ द वर्ड इज यूज ओवर देर सो दीज आर वर्ड दीज आर आवर एट पार्ट ऑफ स्पीच एज यू पीपल कैन सी वॉट आर दीज पार्ट ऑफ स्पीच वन इज वर्ब अनादर वन इज नाउन प्रोनाउन एडजेक्टिव एडवर्ब्स ट्रापोजिशन कंजक्शन एंड इंटरजेक्शन okay these are what these are your eight parts of speech how many parts of speech are there there are eight parts of speech uh not so important question but how many questions how many parts of speech are there there are only eight parts of speech you must remember that so when we talk about what when we talk about verb okay we have what we have noun so look what is a noun we are going to start with directly now uh, we are going to i'm going to introduce all the topics over here i'm going to give you a brief introduction of all the eight parts of speech to you people ठीक है तो लेट अस सी व्हाट डू वी हैव वी हैव नाउन तो व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय नाउन व्हाट इज नाउन नाउन इज नथिंग बट अ नेम ऑफ अ पर्सन प्लेस और थिंग नेम ऑफ व्हाट नेम ऑफ अ पर्सन प्लेस और थिंग इज नोन एज नाउन नाउन इज बेसिकली ऑफ टू टाइप्स नाउन इज व्हाट नाउन इज ऑफ टू टाइप्स एंड व्हाट आर दोस टू टाइप्स दोस टू टाइप्स वुड बी काउंटेबल नाउन एंड अनकाउंटेबल नाउन दैट विल बी व्हाट काउंटेबल नाउन एंड अनकाउंटेबल नाउन uncountable noun when we talk about uncountable noun how uh, what uh, what nouns come under this uncountable noun so we have one material noun material noun and what do we have we have abstract noun we have what we have abstract noun and under the countable noun tab what do we use we have what we have proper noun common noun common noun and what and collective noun and collective noun okay so these are what these are the types of noun that we have so what is a noun noun is nothing but a name of a person place animal or thing any name is what any name is a noun for an example over here in this particular example mrs aruda is going to vegas this weekend so who is going to vegas mrs aruda oh sorry miss aruda so miss aruda is what it is what it is a name it is name of a person it is what it is name of a person name of a person and vegas is what name uh, it is name of a place so whatever names are given to you whatever names are given to you that becomes what that becomes a noun that acts as what that acts as noun now one more thing suppose if i am talking about what i am talking about weekend what are we talking about we are talking about weekend so over here weekend is also what weekend is also a noun it is also a noun it is also acting as a noun okay let us talk about all the days of the week for an example monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday all of them become what all of them act as a noun clear ek example apan log yahan par aur likhte hain dekhiye i'm going to write what i'm going to write mr salman khan Salman Khan has been exonerated. What exonerated by the court? By the court. Oh my God. Okay. So what is the what are the nouns being used over here? What are the nouns? Can you people tell me what are the nouns? So what are the nouns being used over here? Mr. Salman Khan becomes what? It is one noun which is being used over here. This is what? This is a noun. And he has been exempted by what? He has been exonerated by what? He has been exonerated by the court. The court is also what? The court is also a noun. It is also acting as a noun because it is what? It is name of a place. Okay, name of a place. It is what? It is a place. It is what? It is a place. Temple, noun, school, everything is what? Everything is a place. So remember that. ठीक है, so there is one question that I want to ask. What do you mean by exonerate? What do you mean by the term exonerate? What do you mean by the term exonerate? What does it mean? Can anybody tell me? Can you reply me in the chat box? I want you people to give me the answer. What do you mean by the? Why? What do you mean by the term exonerate? Okay, look, exonerate means what? It means acquit. What does it mean? It means to remove 
all the charges and set a person free. Okay, set a person what? Set a person free. So that is what? That is exonerate. Another word that we have, what that we have acquit. So what does it mean? Acquit means what? Acquit means uh, because of the lack of evidence. Because of what? Because of lack of evidence. Comma, setting a person free. Setting a person free. Okay, so in the second statement, what is happening? In the, when we talk about what? When we talk about acquittal, so acquittal means what? You people are setting somebody free. Why are you setting him free? Because of lack of evidence. Because you do not have ample evidence against that particular person. Okay, so this is what this is what noun is. Hum log yaha pe jo noun hai, type se uncountable noun, uncountable noun. We are going to discuss them in a further lecture, uh, which will be thoroughly based upon noun only. Okay, I am going to take either two or three or four lectures for noun. I will be covering all the nouns in depth over there. Plus, I am going to give you the detail that types of questions that are asked from noun only in your uh, management exams. Okay, what are the points of error that we commit while uh, while reading noun while while uh, that. Uh, Solving the questions related to now. Now, next is what? Now, okay, this is what this is a practice which I have given to you. If you people can tell me that what are the nouns which are used over here in this particular in these particular sentences? Can you people answer me? For an example, over here, what is the first statement? Charlie was so excited to go to the school at Greer Middle College this August. Okay, so what is the word Charlie? Charlie is what? Charlie is a noun. Because it is name of a person. Okay, Charlie is what? Charlie is a noun because it is acting as name of a person. Where does he want to go? He wants to go to school. So, school is again what? It is a noun. What noun is it? It is a common noun. It is what? It is a common noun. Then again comes for Green Middle College. Green Middle College is what? It is again a noun. Ye bhi kya ho gaya? Ye bhi ek noun ho gaya. And then what do we have? We have August. So, August is again a noun. So, these all words are acting as a noun. These are acting as what? These are acting as a noun. He had planned for weeks to wear his snazzy blue shirt and Nike shoes. So look, what are we talking about? We are talking, he has, he had planned. Planned is what? Planned is a verb over here. For what? For weeks. Weeks is again a noun as we already had. We weekend it. It is a noun. To wear his snazzy blue shirt. This nasty blue shirt, this shirt is what? This shirt is a noun over here. Okay. And his Nike shoes, the shoes is again what? His Nike shoes is again a noun. While he was enthusiastic about school, his sister wasn't. Okay, so about what? About school. The school is acting as a noun over here, but his sister. Sister is what? Sister is again a noun over here. Okay. Look, uh, if we talk about what? If we talk about school or brother or man women woman okay sister anything okay these all are what these all are common noun okay day so day means what this day can be anything day, this day can be any day it can be monday tuesday wednesday today tomorrow any day yesterday it can be any day so this is what this is known as common. Uh, this is known as what this is known as common noun. So आप लोगों को समझ में आया? देखो noun जो है that noun is very much important. अभी तो आप लोगों को बहुत easy लग रहा होगा. आप लोगों को ऐसा लग रहा होगा. अरे ये तो हम लोग बचपन से करते हुए हैं. Definitely you must be studying these uh, these nouns since childhood. But जब वो लोग error पे आएंगे ना, whenever we are going to uh, land upon these those errors, उस time पे समझ भी नहीं आएगा. और तब जो बंद लोग बचपन से जो चीजें सीखते हुए आते हैं, वहीं पर ही हम लोगों को बहुत ज़्यादा प्रॉब्लम होती है। तो बिगेस्ट थिंग इज़ दिस, जिन चीज़ों को हम लोग बहुत ज़्यादा अच्छे से इग्नोर कर लेते हैं, जिन चीज़ों को हम लोग बहुत इजी समझ लेते हैं, वहीं पर ही प्रॉब्लम होती है। वही चीज़ें हम लोगों का जो परसेंटेज स्कोर है, परसेंटाइल स्कोर है, हमारा जो रॉस स्कोर है उसको खत्म करती है तो यू पीपल शुड लिटरली रिमेंबर दिस कि बी दैट नाउन इज वेरी इजी जब हम लोग इनको क्वेश्चंस में करेंगे तो क्वेश्चंस को करते हुए आप लोगों को बहुत ज़्यादा प्रॉब्लम आएगी तो द थिंग इज दिस वॉट आई वॉन्ट यू पीपल टू डू I want you people to go to Telegram. Okay. I want to do. I want you people to do what? I want to take the screenshot of this particular slide. And you are supposed to go where? You are supposed to go on Telegram. Telegram. पे आप लोगों को क्या करना है? You have to search my name, which is Gaurav. 
Bhatia, B H A T I A, Bhagora Bhatia An Academy. And over there, you should post the answers. You are going to find me over there, and I want to. I am going to check your answers over there. Literally, I am going to check my, your answers over there. So I want to know that in the remaining sentences that Susie she ha even hid under the covers. In all these sentences, okay, all these sentences, what are the nouns which we are using? I just want you people to give me the answer. You can just uh, take the screenshot of this particular slide, write the answers on a white page, take the uh, that uh, just uh, click the picture of that particular page and directly post on the Telegram group. Okay, I'm waiting for you people. So next is what? Next is a verb. Next, what do we have? We have verb. So what do you mean by verb? Look. When we talk about verb, so this is something what verb means. What is happening in a sentence? What is happening in a sentence? In any place, at any place, at any point of time, at any place, what is the most important part of a speech that I, I, I feel? Verb is the most important part of a speech. Literally speaking, it is of all the parts of a speech, verb is the most important one. I always, uh, whenever I teach people, I always uh, tell them to go for what? To go for the verb thing. Literally, I just tell them to go for the verb thing. Just find the verb that what is the first thing? What is the action being done in that particular statement? I, daily, I regularly ask them, ki, what is the action which is being done in this particular statement? And then only I proceed, be it rearrangement is there, be it summary wala questions are there, be it odd one out. So you should also, uh, you should always zero in on what? You should always zero in on verb. Ki, what is the particular verb which is being used in this particular statement? Okay, What is the action being done is in this particular statement? So there are many types of verbs, literally there are many types of verbs. They are what? They are helping verbs. They are main verbs. They are what? They are, are helping verbs. And what do we have? Then we have main verbs. Then we have infinitives. Infinitives means what? That is 2 plus verbs first form. Then we have gerund. Gerund is verb key first form plus ing which is being acted what? These also act as noun as well as verb. They are, these act as what? These act as noun or adjectives. Then we have what? Then we have participles. So there are numerous, there are many numbers of verbs that we have in English language. And we are going to cover this verb wala chapter thoroughly. Literally, verb is the most important chapter, the verb is the most important topic that you are going to study. Okay? And I will be waiting for you in all the live sessions over there. Whenever I'm going to teach you grammar, I will be waiting for you people. Remember that. So verb practice, I want you people to just circle the verb, something very much easy. Okay, you people find it very easy, na? Ki aare nahi verb to bhot zada easy hota hai. So just I want you people to uh, give me the answers. Okay, the, again you can do what? You can just log into my Telegram channel. You can go over there. You can find Gaurav Bhatia An Academy, and you can directly do this. You just have to take what? You just take. Uh, you just have to take the screenshot, or you can just click the picture of this particular exercise. Mark all the answers and send me over there. I will be checking. I will be waiting for you. Now, before doing that, I'm going to help you some, I'm going to help you over here. Sara participates well in class. So over here, what is the action being done? Participating. Okay, this participate is what? It is the action which is being done. So since participate is the action being done, it means what? It is the verb. It is what? It is the verb. Sara, what is Sara? Sara is noun. Sara is noun. Okay, in class, where in class? So class is again what? Class is again noun. While she disliked middle school, she truly enjoys high school. Okay, disliked. What does he do? What does she do? She disliked. She disliked middle school. So disliking is what? Disliking is the action which is being done over here. So dislike is again what? It is the action which is being done. She truly enjoys high school. Enjoys is what? It is the verb which is being done. It is again the verb which is being done. Sara's favorite thing about high school is the lunch. And loves dominoes. She loves dominoes. Man, she loves what? She loves dominoes. So loving, when you love somebody, the love is what? Over here, loves is again a verb over here. It is the action which is being done. Sarah's favorite thing about the school is the lunch. So is, is acting as what? It is also acting as a verb. So I have told you till here, for you people, I have solved this particular paragraph till dominoes. 
remaining paragraph i want you people to tell me i want you people to send me on that telegram app i will be waiting for you people please if you are going to send me the answers over there i will be very much uh, i am going to feel encouraged over there that is going to motivate me unless you people give me answer i won't feel motivated man literally it happens it happens with you also na aisa aap logo ke sath bhi hota hoga har cheez ke liye hum logo ko motivation ki zarurat padti hai bhai aap log cat ki why you people are preferring for cat you can prefer for any other exam na क्यों बिकॉज कोई आपका नोन होगा जिसने कैट को क्लियर करा होगा ही मस्ट हैव लैंडेड इन सम वेरी गुड कॉलेज एंड आफ्टर कॉलेज ही मस्ट हैव ही मस्ट हैव बीन डूइंग सम गुड जॉब ऐसा होगा यू मस्ट हैव रेड सम स्टोरीज ऑन दैट ऑन द इंटरनेट कि सुंदर बिचाई वॉज सुंदर बिचाई डेट हिज एम बी फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर कॉलेज इन गाजियाबाद ओके या फिर डेट पर्टिकुलर पर्सन ओके चंदा कोच और शी डेट एम बी ए फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर कंट्री सो दैट इज वाई यू पीपल आर मोटिवेटेड फॉर दिस एम बी राइट so motivation is something very much improvement uh, important and what is going to motivate me you people are going to motivate me for me you people are cat okay for me cracking you people is more uh, tough than that of cracking cat okay so please i want you people to do what i want you people to crack the help me crack you and you people should answer me i want you people to answer me on my telegram channel which is gaurav bhatiyan academy please do it next comes what next comes pronoun the pronoun is not uh, uh, pronoun is very much important definitely pronouns are very much important and pronouns are there, there are variety of pronouns that we use daily there are what there are variety of pronouns and we regularly commit mistakes while using those pronouns most of the people out there they are all again confused between apostrophe s and the plural form of a noun ठीक है, so we are going to clear all that apostrophe s and uh, that uh, plural, plural of noun in the pronoun mother chapter only. Yes, I am going to help you that uh, make the difference. I am going to help you clear the difference between apostrophe s and the plural of noun over here in the paper in the topic pronoun. I am going to do that. So what is a pronoun? Pronoun is any word which replaces a noun. Pronoun क्या होता है? Pronoun are the words that we use in place of noun. Look, what happens? हम लोग लैंग्वेज को फॉर द फॉर अडोरिंग अ लैंग्वेज फॉर वॉट फॉर अडोरिंग अ लैंग्वेज फॉर अडोरिंग अ लैंग्वेज वॉट यू मैं अडोर अडोर मीन्स टू डेकोरेट इट मीन्स वॉट इट मीन्स टू डेकोरेटिंग द लैंग्वेज टू एस टू डेकोरेटिंग द लैंग्वेज वॉट डू वी डू वी डू नॉट रिपीट वर्ड्स हम लोग कभी भी किसी भी वर्ड का रिपीटेशन नहीं करते होता है ना वेन एवर वी रिपीट समथिंग इट बिकम मोनाटोनस सो एस टू स्टॉप बींग मोनाटोनस What do we do? हम लोग वी डू नॉट रिपीट द वर्ड्स हम लोग जो वर्ड्स होते हैं इनको रिपीट नहीं करते एंड दैट इज द रीजन दैट वी हैव प्रोनाउंस ओवर हेयर प्रोनाउंस की हेल्प से हम लोग रिपीटेशन जो है उस रिपीटेशन को अवॉइड करते हैं किन के रिपीटेशन को अवॉइड करते हैं हम लोग नाउन के रिपीटेशन को अवॉइड करते हैं ठीक है तो इट एनहेंसेज द ब्यूटी इट एनहेंसेज द ब्यूटी ऑफ द लैंग्वेज वॉट डज इट डू इट एनहेंसेज द ब्यूटी ऑफ द लैंग्वेज विच इज वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट लुक ओवर हेयर A pronoun can replace the noun or another pronoun. Which show do you want to see? Is that easy? Okay, a pronoun can replace the what noun or another pronoun. Which show do you want to see? So look over here. Which show? Which show do you want to see? So you is used for what? It is acting as what? It is acting as a pronoun. It is what? It is the second person. It is what? It is the second person. Which show? So now which show is what? Which show you are going to tell me that what show do you want to see? Okay. Which is again a pronoun. Next, what do we have? Next, we have adjectives. So adjectives are very much important. Okay, adjectives gives us what? Adjectives gives us qualities. Adjectives tell us about quality. They tell us what? They tell us about quality. Quality of what? Uh, of what? Okay, tell me what type of quality do the adjectives tell? Adjectives always tell us the quality. of a noun of a noun or a pronoun theek hai ye jo adjectives hote hain kiski quality batate hain hamare ko ye hamare ko ek noun ya fir pronoun ki quality batate hain adjectives hamesha kisko qualify karenge they are going to qualify only and only noun or pronoun now look over here yahan pe something uh, important i want to tell you as i mentioned that verb ki first form plus ing it also acts as what it also acts as an adjective ओके okay, ये किसकी तरह एक्ट करता है इट एक्स एज वॉट इट एक्स एज एन एक्जेक्टिव फॉर एन एग्जाम्पल द क्राइंग चाइल्ड द क्राइंग चाइल्ड 
created chaos okay the crying child created chaos so man use of alliteration theek hai na the crying child created chaos so uh, what is the action being done over here what is the action are we uh, doing over here this created is what it is the action chalo bhai it is what it is the action and who is doing this action who is doing this action this child is doing this action child is what child is the subject and it is what child is a noun child is a noun over here now about which child are we talking we are talking about the child who is crying okay so this crying is what this crying is something which is qualifying this child this crying is something which is qualifying this noun so crying is acting as an adjective it is acting as what it is acting as an adjective remember that and so we are going to clear all sorts of adjectives in our lectures there are a number of adjectives are there theek hai uh, numeral adjectives are there ordinal numbers cardinal numbers we are going to qualify we are going to clear all the adjectives in our lectures an adjective is an adjective modifies a noun or pronoun by describing identifying or qualifying words theek hai so what does uh, that adjective do an adjective modifies noun or pronoun and how does it do it describes or uh, identify or qualify a particular word for example uh, that uh, sentence is given to you the truck shaped balloon okay the truck shaped balloon so over here we are talking about what we are talking about a balloon and what is the quality of that particular balloon what is the quality of this balloon that the shape of the balloon was truck okay so it was what it was a truck shaped balloon clear look over here it is what it is sipping child it is what it is sipping child it is sipping child the child who is sipping something the walking or drooling man people okay so about who are we talking about we are talking about the people who are walking or drooling so these words are qualifying whom these words are qualifying the word people okay these words are qualifying the this noun people okay so this is what this is something very much important so this is known as adjective adjectives are words which qualify what which qualify a noun or a pronoun theek hai done understood everybody chalo let us discuss one question i want you people to give me the answer of a particular question uh you can just give me you can drop the answer in the chat box only all the people of like minds are here the stop he does not like to play online games theek hai now i want you people to tell me that over here in these two statements in these two statements like is being used a word which is common to both these statements is what the word which is common to both these statements is like okay so i want you people to tell me ki in the first statement in the first statement like is being used as what like is being used as what part of a speech and in the second statement like is being used as what part of a speech i am going to give you options first option is what noun comma verb second option is what it is noun comma noun third option is noun comma sorry not noun comma adjective wait for a while third option is adjective comma verb a fourth option is adjective and noun okay so i want you people to give me the answer ki over here in this particular statement this now like okay the word like uh, like is being used at as what part of a speech iska jo use hai wo kaun se part of a speech tarah ho raha hai i want you people to give me the answer so all the people of like mind okay look over here this mind is what this mind over here is a noun yahan pe jo mind hai wo mind kya hai ye ek noun ki tarah use ho raha hai 
सिंस अपन लोग यहाँ पे माइंड का यूज एक नाउन की तरह कर रहे हैं तो लाइक जो है वो लाइक like क्या हो जाएगा दिस लाइक बिकम्स वॉट दिस लाइक बिकम्स एन एक्जेक्टिव ये लाइक है लाइक क्या हो जाएगा ये हो जाएगा एक एग्जेक्टिव ठीक है बिकॉज इट इज क्वालिफाइंग वॉट इट इज क्वालिफाइंग दिस माइंड और जो माइंड है वो क्या है नाउन He does not like. Look, does is what does is a helping verb, and this like is what this like is a main verb. So this like is what this like is a verb over here. So in the first statement, like is being used as an adjective, and the second statement, like is being used as a verb. So what will be your correct option? Third one option will be the correct option. ये जो third one option है, ये आप लोगों का correct option हो जाएगा. इतना समझ में आया आप लोगों को? Understood everybody? आगे बढ़े? Okay. Now, if you people have liked this particular lecture, please, please, please give me a thumbs like over here. Please uh, share this and please subscribe to our channel. Please do this. Again, this is the second thing that motivates us. Okay, next is adverbs. So, what is the difference between adjective and adverbs? The difference between adjective and adverbs is this: that adverbs, these adverbs, they do what? They qualify. They again qualify. And what do they qualify? they qualify a verb they qualify what they qualify verb sorry they qualify verb or adjectives or another adverbs they qualify this okay for example the, uh, look generally what happens if i am going to use this she is beautiful she is what she is beautiful Let us say Nora Fatai is beautiful. Okay, Nora Fatai is very much beautiful. Okay, so beautiful is what this beautiful is being used as an adjective. अपन लोग इसको adjective क्यों बोल रहे? क्योंकि beautiful किसको qualify कर रहा है? Beautiful is qualifying she, and she is what she is a pronoun. ये जो she होता है ये क्या होता है? ये एक pronoun होता है. ठीक है ना? The she is what this she is a pronoun. But in the second statement, if I am going to write it like this, कि she is what she is very beautiful. She is very beautiful. She is what? She is very beautiful. So over here, what are we using? We are using this beautiful. हम लोग किसका use करें? हम लोग beautiful का use करें. Beautiful is an adjective. और वो कितनी beautiful है? वो बहुत beautiful है. वो कितनी beautiful है? वो बहुत beautiful है. So this very is what? This very is qualifying this beautiful. ये जो very है किसको qualify कर रहा है? ये is beautiful को qualify कर रहा है. So very is acting as what? It is acting as an adverb. ये क्या हो जाएगा? ये हो जाएगा आप लोगों का adverb. So adverbs are what? Adverbs are words which qualify verb, adjectives, or another adverb. ठीक है. और example देते हैं. अगर आप लोग दूसरे adverb की बात करते हैं, तो यहाँ पे हो जाएगा आप लोग का. She is very much beautiful. Okay. She is what? She is very much beautiful. So in this statement, what is happening? Beautiful जो है, beautiful तो क्या हो गया? ये तो हो गया आप लोगों का adjective. है ना? ये क्या हो गया? ये तो हो गया आप लोगों का adjective. फिर हमारे पास क्या रहा हमारे पास रहा वेरी और मच तो जो वेरी है वो किसको क्वालिफाई कर रहा है वो क्वालिफाई कर रहा है इस मच को तो मच इज वॉट मच इज अगेन एडवर्ब दिस इज सेकेंड एडवर्ब एंड वेरी इज वॉट वेरी इज फर्स्ट एडवर्ब ये मच किसको क्वालिफाई कर रहा है ब्यूटीफुल को ब्यूटीफुल जो है वो क्या हो गई ये हो गई आप लोगों की एग्जेक्टिव ओके और वेरी किसको क्वालिफाई कर रहा है वेरी क्वालिफाई कर रहा है मच को तो मच इज वॉट मच इज एडवर्ब नंबर सेकेंड और वेरी जो है वो क्या हो गया ये हो गया आप लोगों का फर्स्ट एडवर्ब तो इन दिस मैनर एक ही स्टेटमेंट में आप लोगों को एक से ज्यादा एडवर्ब जो है वो मिल सकते हैं एक ही स्टेटमेंट में एक जो एडवर्ब है वो किसी एग्जेक्टिव को भी क्वालिफाई कर सकता है दूसरा एडवर्ब किसी वर्ब को भी क्वालिफाई कर सकता है और एक एडवर्ब अपने खुद को दूसरे एडवर्ब को भी क्वालिफाई कर सकता है एडवर्ब सबसे ज्यादा इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक होता है मेरे को पर्टिकुलरली बहुत ज्यादा अच्छा लगता है एडवर्ब को पढ़ाना ठीक है तो वी आर गोइंग टू डू इट ये आप लोगों को स्टेटमेंट दे रखें देखो यहाँ पे ओके okay, तो मैं आप लोगों की हेल्प करता हूं थोड़ा सा कि किस तरीके से आप लोग इनको चेक करोगे स्कॉट केयरफुली कंप्लीटेड हिज ऑब्नॉक्शियसली लैंडी होमवर्क ऑब्नॉक्शियसली लैंडी होमवर्क तो लुक व्हाट आर वी टॉकिंग अबाउट आप लोग सबसे पहले किसी भी स्टेटमेंट में क्या देखते हो कोई भी स्टेटमेंट आप लोगों को दे रखा हो आप लोग हमेशा वहां पर देखोगे कि वॉट इज द एक्शन बींग डन एक्सक्यूज मी वॉट इज द एक्शन बींग डन कोई भी स्टेटमेंट अगर आप लोगों को दे रखा हो तो आप लोग सबसे पहले क्या चेक करते हो एक्सक्यूज भी ओके तो सबसे पहले आप लोग क्या चेक करते हो आप लोग चेक करते हो कि जो पर्टिकुलर स्टेटमेंट है उस स्टेटमेंट के अंदर जो एक्शन है वो एक्शन क्या हो रहा है वॉट इज द एक्शन बींग डन इन द पर्टिकुलर स्टेटमेंट ठीक है तो यहाँ पे हमने को फर्स्ट वाला स्टेटमेंट दे रखा है वो क्या है दैट इज वॉट दैट इज कंप्लीटेड 
वो क्या है वो है कंप्लीटेड कंप्लीटेड इज द एक्शन विच इज बींग डन नाउ क्या कैसे कंप्लीट करा स्कॉट ने स्कॉट ने केयरफुली कंप्लीट करा तो केयरफुली किसको वो कर रहा है क्वालिफाई करे कंप्लीटेड को तो केयरफुली बिकम्स व्हाट इट बिकम्स एन एडवर्ब ये किसकी तरह एक्ट कर रहा है ये एक्ट कर रहा है एक एडवर्ब की तरह ओके हिज ऑबनॉक्शियसली लैन दी होमवर्क हिज ऑबनॉक्शियसली लैन दी होमवर्क तो वेन वी टॉक अबाउट वॉट वी वी टॉक अबाउट होमवर्क तो होमवर्क क्या हो जाता है होमवर्क बिकम्स वॉट इट बिकम्स नथिंग बट अ नाउन ये क्या हो जाता है ये हो जाता है नाउन तो लैंदी किसको क्वालिफाई कर रहा है इस होमवर्क को तो लैंदी बिकम्स वॉट लैंदी बिकम्स एन एग्जेक्टिव ये जो लैंदी है लैंदी क्या हो जाता है ये हो जाता है एक एग्जेक्टिव और ऑबनॉक्शियस ऑबनॉक्शियसली ऑबनॉक्शियसली क्या हो जाएगा ये किसको क्वालिफाई कर रहा है ये क्वालिफाई कर रहा है लैंदी को तो ऑबनॉक्शियसली इज एक्टिंग एज वॉट इट इज एक्टिंग एज एन एडवर्ब ये क्या है ये है आप लोग का एक एडवर्ब सुन आया देख सकते वी आर गोइंग टू द स्टोर टूडे हम लोग कहाँ जा रहे हैं वी आर गोइंग वी आर गोइंग टू द स्टोर टूडे तो टूडे इज वॉट टूडे इज अगेन एन एडवर्ब ये क्या है ये एक एडवर्ब है द सेट डॉग रैन अवे क्या हो गया रैन अवे कहाँ भाग गया बहुत दूर भाग गया तो जो अवे है वो किसको कर रहा है क्वालिफाई यहाँ पे रैन को क्वालिफाई कर रहा है तो अवे इज एक्टिंग एज वॉट इट इज एक्टिंग एज एन एडवर्ब तो दीज ऑल आर द वर्ड्स विच आर एक्टिंग एज एन एडवर्ब फ्रॉम फोर्थ टू नाइन्थ Again, I want to take you what I want you people to take the screenshot of this particular slide, and I want you people to mark the answers and send me on my Telegram group. On what is the name of the Telegram group? It is Gaurav Bhatia An Academy. I want you people to do it. Please do it right away. I will be more than happy. Please, yar, kar lo yar. Asiya kar rahe ho. Then kya hota hai? Then aata hai. Mere paas conjunction. So conjunction ka kya use hota hai? What is conjunction? Conjunction hota hai. It is what words. Which, sorry, words which connect. Words which connect what? One part of a speech. One part of a speech with another. With another part of a speech. यहाँ पे क्या होता है? अपन लोग एक part of a speech को किससे connect करते? हम लोग एक part of a speech को connect करते हैं दूसरे part of a speech से. इसको अपन लोग क्या बोलते हैं? इसको अपन लोग बोलते हैं conjunction. आप लोग किसी भी सेंटेंस में एंड का यूज कर रहे हो बट हो गया येट हो गया आइदर और नाइदर नॉर सो ऑल दीज आर वॉट ऑल दीज आर कंजक्शन ठीक है ना ये सारे के सारे कंजक्शन होते हैं बहुत अच्छा बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक होता है वी आर गोइंग टू डू इट बहुत ज्यादा मजा आएगा आप लोगों को कंजक्शन के अंदर बहुत मजा आता है आई एट द पिज्जा एंड द पास्ता आई एट द पिज्जा एंड द पास्ता तो ओवर यूर वॉट आर यूजिंग वी आर यूजिंग एंड ओके सो एंड क्या कर रहा है एंड पर्टिकुलर इन दोनों एक फ्रेज को दूसरे क्लास से कंजक्ट कर रहा है एक फ्रेज को क्लॉज से कंजक्ट कर रहा है तो दिस इज एक्टिंग एज वॉट इट इज एक्टिंग एज अ कंजक्शन देखो ये जो ये जो पर्टिकुलर सेशन है ये सेशन एक इंट्रोडक्टरी सेशन है ओके इट इज नथिंग बट एन इंट्रोडक्शन विच इज वी वी विच वी पीपल आर हैविंग ओवर हियर ठीक है तो इसके अंदर ज्यादा समझना नहीं है अपने को बस पता होना चाहिए कि कंजक्शन होता क्या है कंजक्शन क्या होता है एक ऐसे ऐसे वर्ड्स जो क्या करे जो कभी भी कंजक्ट करने का काम करे जो कभी भी ज्वाइन करे इसको ज्वाइन करेंगे एक पार्ट ऑफ स्पीच को दूसरे पार्ट ऑफ स्पीच से ज्वाइन करेंगे उसको अपन लोग क्या बोलते हैं इसको अपन लोग बोलते हैं कंजक्शन ओके आप लोग के लिए मोर देन सफिशियंट है एग्जेक्टिव क्या होते हैं जो क्वालिफाई करते हैं किसको क्वालिफाई करेंगे किसी भी नाउन को या फिर प्रोनाउन को क्वालिफाई करेंगे एडवर्ब क्या होते हैं अगेन क्वालिफाई करने वाले वर्ड्स किसको क्वालिफाई करेंगे एग्जेक्टिव को वर्ब को या फिर दूसरे एडवर्ब्स को उनको अपन लोग क्या बोलते हैं उनको अपन लोग बोलते हैं एडवर्ब्स ठीक है प्रोनाउन क्या होते हैं ऐसे वर्ड्स जो कि किस जो कि विच आर यूज इन प्लेस ऑफ नाउन ओके दीज आर द एग्जाम्पल्स ये एग्जाम्पल्स अपन लोग अभी नहीं करेंगे हम लोग इनको बाद में करने वाले वी आर गोइंग टू डू दीज एग्जाम्पल्स आफ्टर वर्ड्स ठीक है ना एग्जाम्पल्स मतलब कंजक्शन के टाइप्स वगैरह दे रखे हैं आप लोगों को नाउ सर्कल द कंजक्शन एंड ट्राई टू आइडेंटिफाई विच टाइप ऑफ कंजक्शन ईच इज ठीक है अपन लोग बाद में करेंगे अपन लोग अभी बिल्कुल भी नहीं कर रहे आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू बर्डन योर सेल्फ आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू बर्डन यू पीपल ठीक है फिर क्या आता है फिर आता है भाई साहब सबसे ज्यादा कॉम्प्लिकेटेड सबसे ज्यादा कॉम्प्लिकेटेड वॉट सबसे ज्यादा कॉम्प्लिकेटेड पार्ट ऑफ स्पीच एंड वॉट इज दैट पर्टिकुलर पार्ट ऑफ स्पीच दैट इज प्रापोजिशन सर प्रापोजिशन इतना ज्यादा कॉम्प्लिकेटेड क्यों होता है प्रापोजिशन आर वॉट प्रापोजिशन आर वर्ड्स जो क्या बताते हैं जो आप लोगों के प्रापोजिशन लिंक्स एंड नाउन्स प्रोनाउंस एंड फ्रेजेस टू अदर वर्ड्स इन द सेंटेंस ठीक है ना प्रापोजिशन का क्या यूज होता है प्रापोजिशन हमेशा किसी भी नाउन या फिर प्रोनाउन या फिर किसी भी फ्रेज के पहले लग जाएगा और फिर वो क्या करेगा इट एक्सेस वॉट इट एक्सेस लिंक ये क्या लिख लिंक का काम करता है किसका काम करता है एक लिंक का ठीक है ना इट एक्सेस व्हाट इट एक्सेस अ लिंक ओवर हियर प्रापोजिशन एक ही पर्टिकुलर प्रापोजिशन का यूज अपन लोग बहुत तरीके से कर सकते हैं दैट इज माई प्रापोजिशन आर वेरी मच कंफ्यूजिंग ठीक है 
एक पर्टिकुलर प्रपोजिशन है वी कैन यूज दैट पर्टिकुलर प्रपोजिशन इन न्यूमरस वेज इन हाँ हंड्रेड वेज तो प्रपोजिशन के लिए एक अलग से सीरीज चलने वाली भाई साहब लिटरली एक प्रपोजिशन के लिए एक अलग से सीरीज चलाऊंगा मैं और प्रपोजिशन से ही हमारे को क्या मिलते हैं हमारे को मिलते हैं फ्रेजल वर्ब्स जिनका डिस्कशन मैं एक स्पेशल क्लास के अंदर कर भी चुका हूँ फ्रेजल वर्ब्स फ्रेजल वर्ब्स क्या होते हैं फ्रेजल वर्ब्स आर वॉट फ्रेजल वर्ब्स आर वर्ड्स हम लोग क्या करते हैं हम लोग कभी भी नाउन का यूज़ करते हैं या हम लोग कभी भी वर्ब का यूज़ करते हैं या हम लोग किसी भी एग्जेटिव का यूज़ करते हैं और इनके साथ क्या आता है इनके साथ आती है कोई भी वर्ब कोई भी सॉरी इनके साथ क्या आता है इनके साथ आता है कोई भी प्रापोजिशन हम लोग इनके साथ किसका यूज़ करते हैं किसी भी प्रापोजिशन का यूज़ करते हैं तो अल्टीमेटली ये क्या बन जाता है ये बन जाता है आप लोगों का फ्रेजल वर्ब दिस बिकम्स वॉट ये बन जाता है आप लोगों का फ्रेजल वर्ब इट एक्स एज वॉट इट एक्स एज अ फ्रेजल वर्ब ठीक है तो वी आर गोइंग टू डू वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू मैनी फ्रेजल वर्ब्स हम लोग बहुत सारे फ्रेजल वर्ब्स हैं वो करने वाले हैं इसका ध्यान रखना बहुत सारे मतलब बहुत सारे वी आर गोइंग टू डू दैट फ्रेजल वर्ब्स भी करने वाले हैं और प्रपोजिशन भी करने वाले हैं ठीक है ना लास्ट क्या आता है लास्ट आता है आप लोग का इंटरजेक्शन वॉट इज इंटरजेक्शन इंटरजेक्शन आर नथिंग बट एक्सप्रेशन ये एक ऐसा टॉपिक है जो अपन लोग अभी खत्म कर सकते हैं इसी इसमें ठीक है दीज आर ओनली एंड ओनली एक्सप्रेशन फॉर एन एग्जाम्पल हुर्रा अलास पीफी ओके तो वर्ड्स विच वॉट विच एक्सप्रेस द मूड वर्ड्स विच एक्सप्रेस द मूड of the one who is speaking that particular sentence. Okay, उसको पर लोग क्या बोलते हैं उसको पर लोग बोलते हैं इंटरजेक्शन ठीक है फॉर एग्जाम्पल आउट हाई ओके तो दीज ऑल आर वॉट दीज ऑल आर इंटरजेक्शन फॉर एन एग्जाम्पल लेट एस से दीज आर दम एग्जाम्पल्स विच आई प्रोवाइडेड यू हे कीप योर हैंड्स ऑफ द कैमरा तो हे इज वॉट हे इज एन इंटरजेक्शन डान एल इज लेट अगेन तो डान इज वॉट डान इज अगेन एन एक्सप्रेशन जी I really thought I would have won. So this is what this is again an introduction. I think I uh, forgot the name. So, uh, uh is what uh is nothing but it is again an interjection. So we use what we use so many interjections daily. Okay. So these this is what this was a simple introduction of uh, parts of the speech, which was meant for you people. If you have enjoyed this session, please like and share and subscribe. Please like and share this particular video and subscribe to our channel, which is Cat for MBA. Uh, my coming class, my upcoming class is on Saturday, which is tomorrow, and we are going to start with what we are going to start with reading comprehension in that particular class. And my referral code is Cat Gov. Don't forget, okay? Please, 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 if you are going to subscribe, please use my referral code, which is Cat Gov. C A T G E R V Cat Gov. Please share and uh, like this particular video, and please subscribe to our channel, which is Cat for MBA. Okay, please do that. Bus, that is all for today. Thank you, people, for being here. Thank you for listening me patiently. आप लोग आप लोगों का रखना ध्यान, शब्बा ख़ैर और जय हिंद, जय भारत. Take care. Bye.